to another Tinkercad tutorial. I am Ian Robotics and today I'm going to be showing you how to wrap text in Tinkercad. Let's get started. So today we're going to be achieving uh, wrapping text. So that's basically what I have here on my screen. So text that will wrap around a model, um, like a round roof or anything. It can be any cylindrical object. So let's get started. Alright, so I'm just going to put this to the side. I'm going to drag out a cylinder. I'll make it a bit bigger and wider. So to scale, just press shift and click on here just, just, just to press scale. Really useful. Um, next, I'm going to grab out text. I'm also just going to scale this down to a reasonable, reasonable place. Then I'm going to change this to 90 degrees. So you want to make your text, put this put your text in front of it and make it 90 degrees. And just because I'm a bit picky, I'm just going to go on the align tool, or as it says, uh, shortcut is L on your keyboard, just press align in the middle there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag it up to a reasonable height right there. So what you want to do now is drag out this through the text to the other side like so. so sh your model should look something like this right now. Right, so next what you're going to do is drag out a box from your shapes and oops, I'm just going to drag this through here, drag this out to this side. Make sure that your box doesn't cover, um, doesn't go uh, past where your text is. So it can't be like this, it's gotta be like this. It can't go anywhere past there, so it's gonna be like that on both sides. So now that you have your box up here, you just wanna drag it up until it's all covering the top like that. So now it should look a bit like this, still sticking out on both sides. So next, what we're going to do is, you want to select on your text and press hold. So now you want to do that, you want to click on that again and hold shift and left click on the box. So that's not right click, just left click and then press group. So it's not going to do anything to our cylinder because we haven't selected that, it'll only do it only hold the box. So now that we have that, while while it's um, selected, we're just gonna press hold like that. And now we should get to this stage like this. So what we want to do now is click the cylinder and we need to duplicate this. So to duplicate the shortcut to the keyboard is Control D like that. And you should a little flash. What you want to do is you want to drag this duplicated cylinder down underneath the box. And once you do that, don't unclick, unselect that. Hold Shift once more and press the box. Then go up to the right, top right hand corner and press Group. And we should have this. So we're getting really close now. Pretty much all you should do now is when you remove this, voila, we have a text separated from our cylinder, but it's kind of wrapped. Um, what we have, what we want to do now is we are selecting the text, make it bigger, we wrap it around like that. I'm just going to do an example. I'm just going to do it in an example. Text. How do you change the name? I don't know. Anyway, so we're just going to have our text here, for example, like this. Uh, a little bit weird at the back, so you can just pop, pop, um, shorten that, put that in there, shorten that, like that. Like, like so. Click on your text, make it a, make it a different color. Group. And it should 
come back like that and just press multiply to go oh, come back. And there we have it guys. So this is our wrap this is our wrap text. So it's pretty easy. Um, the steps on how to do this step by step will be in the description below. Go check that out. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss my next lesson on Tinkercad.